Senator Lindsey Graham got the vapors as he was begging Fox News viewers to uh, empty their wallets for Donald Trump. Take a look. I believe that equal justice under the law and equal application of our laws is dead. Uh, it may be, but we, we got one last chance here to straighten this out. I just told you a Democratic president lies under oath regarding sexual matters. Uh, they're not prosecuted. A Democratic secretary of state running for president destroys 33,000 emails under subpoena. They're not prosecuted. This is selective prosecution. It's legal garbage in New York. It's politically motivated. And we do have one last chance to not become a banana republic. 2024 mm -hmm. is the most important election in my lifetime. America literally is at stake as we know it, is at stake as we know it. I'm sorry I'm so upset, but please help President Trump. If you can fi afford five or 10 bucks, if you can't afford a dollar, fine, just pray. Make sure you vote as early as you can in your state. Don't risk anything anymore. Vote as soon as you can. Pray for this country, pray for this president. And if you got any money to give, give it. LindseyGraham.com, it doesn't go to me. It goes to helping this president and taking back the Senate. Let's stand up for this president. Let's stand up for this country. And let's don't take this crap anymore. We all can help. Mmm, sweet, sweet maggot tears. Delicious. <laughs> wow. Uh, look, there's nothing more pathetic than uh, seeing Lindsey Graham grovel. Uh, by the way, uh, going back to what he was talking about with uh, you know, Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton... Uh, well, the Clintons, you know, there were investigations into both of those. And there was even an impeachment <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, weird. It. It's almost as if nothing came of both of those things. So, I mean, you know, but oh, OK, <laughs> no, here's the thing, though. So he's groveling for Donald Trump, but I noticed something. LindseyGraham.com. Wait a minute. What are you doing? If you can donate to LindseyGraham.com. How's that going to go to Donald Trump? Are you try? Are you trying to grift? Is Lindsey Graham trying a grift? Maybe. Or maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, look, as far as like giving to Donald Trump, we all know that a lot of the money that gets sent to Donald Trump doesn't get used for the intended purpose. It goes into Donald Trump's pockets. Now, it doesn't go directly, but what it does is that Donald Trump gets the money into his campaign because there are campaign finance rules. And then that campaign then goes and rents out hotel rooms, uh, it does catering, uh, and you know does all this business with Trump properties. And the, of course, he can go and raise the prices of those properties, which he had actually done uh, at Mar-a-Lago in order to get memberships and, and things like that. And, and then overcharging, of course, his own campaign for office space. I think jacked up the rent like 200%. Uh, and then that money just goes into his pockets. That's generally what happens when you give money to Donald Trump. He'll just spend it on himself. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Um, now, that said, of course, uh, he's some spent some money on, well, not election defense, because that turns out that was not a real thing. Um, eh, but he spent a little bit on some Republican candidates during the midterms, but not very much. And so, again, most of that money went into his campaign. And from that, straight into his pocket, because that's the entire point of the Trump presidency. That was the entire point take as much money as possible and stuff it into his pockets. I don't think the guy expected to ever win. And yet he won. And a lot of the problems come from, of course, him trying to win and hastily trying to cover up all the many different scandals in, uh, you know, ways that were, he didn't expect anyone to look into. And so I guess, you know, a problem of his own making. Or the fact that he is unmade himself, which is actually pretty funny. Uh, but look, going to the grift here, it's always been a grift. It doesn't matter, you know, if we're talking about Lindsey Graham uh, or, or Donald Trump. Now, look, 
uh, the charges of falsifying documents that Donald Trump is, is, is facing right now, campaign finance violations and tax fraud, I think Trump is, you know, uh, a little bit worried, but probably worried more about the federal investigations. But this is this could be the first domino to fall. But as far as Lindsey Graham is concerned, I think this also has him rattled. If Donald Trump goes down for this, it could affect other wealthy and powerful people like Lindsey Graham. Now wealthy and powerful people might not be off the table anymore. And we could actually have an equal application of justice instead of rich people and politicians having one set of rules versus everyone else. So again, I could imagine that there are people in both parties, by the way, that could end up in the same or a similar position as Donald Trump, as in they violated campaign finance or tax laws, and they're worried that a new era of accountability could be incoming. I'm not saying that it necessarily is, but maybe the fear is in them. Uh, either that, of course, or maybe just Lindsey Graham is that much of a uh, pathetic Trump bootlicker now that no matter what, he's just, you know, going to kiss Trump's ass. Not sure. Maybe one could be both. <laughs>